Hey, what's going on guys? Justin with Tier 1 Gear and EDC Reviews, and today we're going to be checking out the all-new Asher Knife Coast Bureau. Now, I'm just going to do a quick little video on this because I am going to be getting my own here soon. This is just a pass-around knife, so I couldn't take it apart or anything like that, but I will do an updated video where I do just that. Anyway, as you can see already, if you're familiar with the Spiro thumb hole, definitely a nice added feature. Gives this thing a more natural feel in the hands, easier to deploy. Action on it is really, really nice. And it feels a little bit, I guess, glassier, or it has a different sound than the, actually, let me go ahead and show this. This is the original Thai Spiro, which great action, same feel, you know, pretty much in the hands and in the pocket, but there's no milling on the inside of this, which there is milling on this one, much lighter, but it also has a different sound. Of course, you can see the blade shape's a little bit different. This one right here is a little bit wider. Maybe, uh, eh, not really an eighth, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch, something like that. But you can see it's almost a different knife entirely. A little bit different uh, handle shape. Nice backspacer. This is like a G10 backspacer on this one, but this one actually has the jimped tie, which looks really, really good. And of course he did add a little bit of jimping there on the spine as well. Now you could, of course, spidey flick the original design. This is the G10 one, which I've carried more than probably any other knife. Absolutely love this thing. So yeah, this was definitely, uh, let's just say I was really excited to get this one in. You know, they all have really smooth action. This is actually the original prototype that I got from Justin. And I carried this thing for probably three months before I got the other one, or two months, something like that. And just this knife in its basic form, I fell in love with. You know, it's actually become a work knife of mine. And I gotta say, the Spiro design is just <laughs> something about it. Uh, you know, it's nat not natural. What's the word I'm looking for? It's basic, but it's not, ba it's, uh, damn, I can't even think of that word now all of a sudden. Traditional. It has more of a traditional knife shape, but at the same time, it, you know, has this kind of uh, futuristic, classy look. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but whatever he's got going on up there, I got to say, I've really been impressed with the new releases. This one right here, of course, and... Actually, I do not have my new flashback. Yeah, the wife's got it. I had a Thai flashback as well, which has a titanium lock side, G10 show side, which awesome knife. My wife actually likes it and steals it all the time. But yeah, the last few releases from Asher have been on point. I will put a link to his website down in the description. Go check this out. I am not sure when these are supposed to drop. I'm sure it's pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. Also, keep an eye out for my updated video where I'm going to be taking this bad boy apart. But yeah, overall, I got to say, I am absolutely in love with this knife. And of course, even though this is just a prototype and has a couple little kinks that are being worked out on the final design, a little bit of pivot lash, but that's not going to be the case with all of them. All in all, great little blade. Like I said, action very, very smooth and I love the design. I mean, it's nice little updated look to the Spiro, which of course, if you're like me, huge fan of, you're definitely going to like this one. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. Go check out Asher Knife Co. Link in the description. Stay safe out there. See you guys on the next one.